The seven questions we need answered about COVID-19. Question number one, what is the incidence rate of COVID-19 in our country? This means how many people have ever been infected? We can determine the incidence rate via antibody tests to determine how many people contract the virus without symptoms to calculate the true death rate. If the transmission rate is as rapid as public health officials claim, that could mean millions and millions of Americans have already been infected, which would mean a high incidence rate, but a much lower death rate. What is the incidence rate? We need to know. Question number two. Does hydroxychloroquine or a combination of hydroxychloroquine and a Z-Pak work to treat COVID-19? If so, do we have enough supply of these drugs to treat patients early in their illness when the drug is most effective? We need to know. Question number three, how many COVID-19 deaths are excess deaths? What I mean is of all the reported COVID-19 deaths in the United States, how many deaths are from COVID-19 versus deaths with COVID-19? COVID-19. How many of the people who died with COVID-19 were going to die anyway? Even Neil Ferguson of Imperial College London says two thirds of projected COVID-19 deaths in the UK are people who were going to die anyway. We need to know. Question number four, are we outside the normal range for influenza like illness deaths that we experience every year? Remember, we don't test all influenza cases or deaths. We extrapolate and project based on a very few tests. That means there are thousands and thousands of people who die from influenza-like illnesses that aren't actually the flu, but rather viruses like COVID-19 that we ignore because we don't usually identify those viruses. Are we outside the norm this year? We need to know. Question number five, why isn't the CDC recommending right now that people wear face masks. Scientific evidence shows face masks are effective in slowing the spread of respiratory viruses like COVID-19. So why is the World Health Organization still saying that healthy people should not wear masks? If it's a supply issue, if it's about saving our limited supply for healthcare providers like Dr. Fauci insinuated yesterday, then why isn't the FDA waiving regulations for the production of face masks so more private companies like MyPillow can produce them quickly so we have a supply for everybody. We need to know. Question number six, what is the scientific evidence that government mandated lockdowns work better than a combination of other physical interventions like quarantining sick people and their families, hand washing, face masks, individual social distancing, which means don't go to work sick, don't send your kid to school sick, don't get on an airplane when you're contagious, and if you have germs, don't power through, stay away from old people. What's the evidence that lockdowns are more effective than a combination of these other measures? We need to know. Question number seven, which projection models is the White House using to inform their political policies? What assumptions is the White House making in their models? And why won't the White House release their projection models to the public so we can see for ourselves how they're informing the political policies they're imposing on us? Ask your policymakers, we need to know.